What's good, boys? Welcome back to the greatest YouTube known to the history of mankind. Steven, Pen God. Why are you in a robe in the middle of summer? Because I'm the Pen God. I do what I want. You should get a robe too. Now, for today's video, boys, it is something special. It is something incredible. What happens when you take peanut butter and you get jam and you put it in a sandwich? You get Triv Gaming and Luxury Gaming bringing you guys online dueling book tournaments with crazy prizes. So, with that being said, I'd like to introduce you guys to our new sponsorship. Without further ado, Trip Gaming and Luxury Gaming. I'm just going to cut these down. My bad, boys. All right, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Luxury Gaming, what's good? We are going to send to you guys daily, daily dueling book tournaments for big cash prizes, in which you guys got Luxury Gaming. They host crazy dueling book tournaments. Uh, even different games like Madden, FIFA, etc., etc. But it is super cool. Uh, crazy tournaments where it's like crazy pricing. Way better than regionals. Way better than YCS pricing. And they do it online. They got 2,200, I believe, 2,300 on their page. Let's bring that to 4,000, 5,000. So go on Facebook right now and go like them and go follow along. They post tourneys, like 10, 15 tourneys a day. You can easily follow up and just play with them. So we, we do partner up and they're my boys, man. They're my boys. All of my boys. Hey, they got some good players on the team too. You know, Hani Jawari, he's a ex-good pendulum player. And now he's a sellout Goki player, but whatever. Whatever. We're going to whoop his uh, Hani, bro. Hani, I'm going to whoop your ass on stream, bro. I'm calling you all. You're my boy, but I'm going to whoop you on stream. Anyways, all this is going to be a crazy live commentary from the pen god himself. Every one of these matches. So without further ado, today's video is a live commentary of Calvin Tahan versus... Nesty, Tom Balabalopoulos, whatever your name is. Calvin, I like Calvin. I like Calvin. Calvin Don got the right mentality you need to be one of the greatest greats in this game. Too bad he's not, but he still has the mentality. So uh, that's all you can really ask of someone. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys a commentary of Calvin versus Nesty. They're playing for $400. This is a big, it was a tourney. This is the finals of it now. $100 buy-in or something. I forgot the buy-in, but... The winner gets forty dollars, so we'll see what happens. All right, one second, boys. We're just gonna move this here. All right, so we're gonna do this a little slow, so you guys can keep up. It's goat format, by the way. They're not playing real format, like like meta. This is goat format, so goat for four hundred dollars. This is big stakes, boys. Big stakes. Four hundred. Would you guys play goat for four bills? I would. That's free money, but. We'll see what happens. Nessie goes first. Goes to Graceful. Graceful and Serpent. Graceful and Serpent. I don't know, man. You guys think Graceful Serpent's going to... Oh, all right. Knock on the Koichi. How many the Koichi you got? Bro, three. I, I like the Koichi. I like... It's a dark. It's a flip. It draws one. You don't need that spell. Traps and Grave. Like, this is a good card. He rings that. They're getting to, he sets three because he got the Solemn Judgment. That's why Calvin set three. He got the Heavy, but you don't have those Judgments for Setting three... Honestly, if I had four spells, I, I'm in judgment. I'm setting all of them to be honest, because uh, you gotta be uh, like you gotta scare your opponent. Look at that advantage though. The pot agreed after all that. Boom! The pot, the heavy, the graceful, the serpent. Nessie's up, boys. He's up big time right now. Five to two. He just drew a card. Five to three. Uh, this is a good card, man. Not many people play this card, but we'll see what happens. Uh, he does that. Boom! I don't what. All monsters on your side, if you change the face up to you. What the hell was the point of that? Uh, no, I don't know. Even I don't even know why he did that play, to be honest. But anyways, he goes with MST. That means it's got to be a big play. He's going to MST like he just does nothing. Okay, that means this has to be a great card. If he did nothing on the MST there, because the MST, the Saku, there's no point. Whatever, let's set it. And then so this has to be a good card, like a Saku. A Boko. What? What? Why are you book mooning that, bro? Yes, I have a big play here right now. Why do you book? Huh? What? You're at 5,200, bro. Why are you book mooning uh, Grandmaster Suzuki? Are you going to book moon this too now? What? What are you doing? Someone teach this guy how to play go. What are you doing? He tried to save us. You're at 5,200, bro. What are you doing? 
It won't even banish the Serpent! After damage calculation, when this card is destroyed by battle, with an opponent's monster, banish that monster, also banish this card. After when this card is destroyed by battle, it's not destroyed. Oh. No comment, honestly. Now is he going to attack this or just banish both? Is this guy an idiot? Oh, wait a sec, actually. I don't even know what would trigger first. But anyways, that's relevant. This guy, Nessie, bro, you might have just cost the whole game. That You just put Calvin back in the game with that, bro. You can't be wasting cards like that. But we'll see what happens. <coughs> who do you guys got, bro? Like, like, who do you guys got? You guys got Calvin? It's a best of five, by the way. A best of five. Who do you guys got? Like, honestly, nah, this is the first time I'm watching this. I don't even know who's going to win. But I got to go with... I gotta go with Calvin just based on uh, this nasty guy doesn't know how to play. I uh, made bare misplays already. Like, there's no way. Like, bro, Nesty was up so much. How is Calvin back in the game right now? He was literally up five to two, five cards to two cards, with two cr stupid misplays for no reason. Why do you book something for no reason when you're at fifty two hundred just to save fifteen hundred life points? This guy's about to lose. Oh my god! Just like that. All right, well, after this is going to be equal, what's he going to get? A call. All right. Nasty, bro. It's 2-2. Two, two. Close enough life, po life points, you're still in the game. You got to do something big here. You got to do something big. Okay, I don't consider that the biggest, but, you know, whatever. You're up an extra card in advantage. You got the call. Uh, You got the serpent, I believe. Yeah, you got... Uh, so, call... You have three useless cards and a call the haunted. What's call going to bring you? I don't know. This is not looking so good, to be honest. Uh, if he top decks a monster, it's game. Yeah, if he top decks a monster, it's game right now. Because that's a serpent. Oh, it's over. Oh, my God. He actually lost. Nessie, bro, you punted that. That was yours. That was your game. That was your game. You literally completely blew it. Uh, if you're watching this, bro, why, why on earth did you book a moon twice for no reason? You literally just lost a card. To save 1,500 life points. Who cares about 1,500 life points, bro? You are at 5k plus. Anyways, it's a new game. He opens up what seems to be his favorite card, Thunder Dragon. I just, no, he opened it up uh, He opened up late the last game. But what do you guys think of Thunder Dragon and Gold, man? I don't even like Thunder Dragon and Gold, to be honest. I think it's okay. Like, it's all right. It just it seems like a waste of a card. Unless you play a bunch of, like, Phoenix Wing Blast and et cetera, et cetera. At that point, I might as well just wait till you get Serpent, to be honest. But, I don't know. I think Thunder Dragon's okay. But I think if you're playing Thunder Dragon, you have to play Wind Blast and stuff like that. Even Lightning Vortex, to be honest. Like, you got to play cards that utilize dead cards in your hand if you're going to play Thunder Dragons and Serpents. I, honestly, I think Sinister Serpents overrated itself. Honestly. Like, it's huge because of Metamorphosis, but you just play Flip Monsters actually do something. And realistically, you're only using Serpent maybe once or maybe twice a game, max. I'd rather just use a level 1 Flip Monsters, to be honest. I play, you guys should see my Gold deck. My Gold deck is remarkable. The gold plays gold. You already know. So, oh, that was a, that was a hot play right there. I do like uh, cards that destroy flip monsters like that. That was good. You know, let's put this uh, over here, actually. We'll put this there. where you guys can, like, see that stuff, you know. But, so you setting two. Uh, actually, for, I think it was a Solemn was one of them, right? I don't know. Yeah, Solemn and Ring, I think, from what I remember. Anyways, who you guys got for game two, man? It's one over Calvin right now. I want to see Nessie come back, bro. I want to see him come back. It's already it's 1-0 Calvin. Calvin's known as a great player. And I'm always for the Cinderella, bro. I don't know who this Nesty guy is, but we'll see what happens. I'm gunning for you now, Nesty. You misplayed game one, but I got I got you, bro. I got you. I know you're going to come back. You're going to come back, bro. Just don't lose. Just don't do any stupid misplay. Like, two book moves for no reason. Let's see what go on here. Pot of Greed. Right, you're up in cards, bro. You're up. Nesty's up. He's up two cards right now. Let's see what happens. I love GOAT, man. Honestly, I just want to play GOAT. Like, I don't even want to play meta anymore. Meta's too easy. It's too easy. It's just, I like, keep destroying people, bro. Like, give me some competition. I, I would have Kaiko, too, over a breaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have Kaiko 100% as well over a breaker right there. You don't need to break all that. Like, you guys will be surprised. Like, you have to play GOAT very strategically, very technical. You don't need to play, like, how it is in the meta now. It's, like, turn to turn 
uh, you got to destroy their board. You got to make sure you're prepared for the next turn. Goal isn't like that. You could save the break. You could easily summon breaker, destroy that. But you could all you could always have access to breaker. And as you could tell from the last game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I see Nessie play a good amount of back row. A like, breaker, I would have definitely saved and used Kaiko right away to get actual because breaker will always resolve. You don't know what, how how often Kaiko will resolve. I would definitely have Kaiko as well. I obviously he's not gonna drop Vilas right off the bat like that, but. Like, just out of nowhere. But to make sure the lights are gone, like, there's a dark left. But I find lights pretty tough to come by. But anyways, let's see what happens here. This is a Solemn. So you could play, like, fearlessly, uh, like, forget a Tarantula and Mirror Force. If it's absolutely, like, game-breaking, I would, I would right here, I would, yeah, I would probably summon, ah, uh, I would, let's see. I might actually just summon Mobius to be honest. Oh, he summoned Breaker. Okay, let me think. What would I do in this situation? If you could absolutely just game them. If you were to tribute this, ah, uh, nah, nah, Breaker's good. Save the Mobius. I would have done that. Yep, yeah, that was good. That was the best play. That was definitely the best play. Oh, yeah, that's game. Yeah, 19, 18, 37. Yeah, that's game. Yeah, 3,700, and then you just Solemn Judgment, one of those. Yeah, yeah, 3,700, Solemn Judgment of the. Okay. I'm judgment. Uh, yeah, I'm judgmenting that. Yeah, judgment that. Hundred percent. Judgment that. Take care of this. Gone. Thirty-seven hundred to the face. That's game. Unless he does something, and if he does something horrible, just book. That's why he didn't use Breaker's effect. It's exactly thirty-seven. He needed two cards to stop it. He already had one. Is he gonna have another? Or is that game, bro? That's game. Oh my god. That's two over Calvin. Ah, Calvin, bro. Two o. Okay. Well, they're playing best of five. For 400 bucks right now. Best of five for four bills. Who you guys got, bro? Best of five for four bills. Best of five for four bills. Yo, ah, I want to join some of these tournaments, man. Honestly, if you haven't already, man. Go, two things right now. Two things. Right now. Go to Facebook. Like Luxury Gaming. And then if you haven't already, subscribe to Trip Gaming. Because we're going to bring to you guys... Incredible commentary, except moving forward, it's going to be 10 times better quality. I'm downloading a better system I'm, as we speak right now. Like, my laptop's even making a noise, so I'm downloading something. I'm downloading a new software to bring you guys better commentary, but I'm like, you know what? I'd rather just uh, give it to you guys right now, because why wait a whole day? I want to bring you guys commentary every day. This is extra. Like, I'm going to be, I want to give you guys a video every day and commentary every day. I don't care. Like, the more, the merrier. I want to give you guys as Metro. Uh, that was a long siding. Anyway, oh, yeah, it's because I clicked pause, actually. But, yeah, like you said, yo, damn, this is hard, LOL. Yeah, high stakes ain't a joke. Good, like, nicely said, Calvin. We'll see how this goes. It's 2-0, best of five. They're playing four bills. Let's see what happens. There's pot, then the graceful. What else you got? All right, pot, graceful. Delinquent. Okay, he'll be the Trinity. He'll be the Trinity. Maybe he's a Trinity too early because they're Serpent, but... We'll see what happens. Let's see if Cal Calvin, bro, come back from the Trinity and you're the real GOAT. We'll see what happens. Calvin's been playing nice so far. He's been playing great so far. No misplays from Calvin's end. Very strategic thinking. I respect Calvin and his play. But we'll see if he, he comes back from this. You know, at the end of it, he's still only down one. Oh, he's only down one right now after getting Trinity. But we'll see what happens. Oh, boy. Oh, yikes. Yikes. He's bought out four power spells before he's uh, before Calvin uses one. Yikes! I don't see a way that uh, Calvin comes back from this. Like I'm going straight to the next game, but you know what? I don't give up, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't give up. Just uh, keep playing. Oh, another plus. Ah, oh. see, you waited for the graceful, bro. You waited for the graceful. You would have had Thunder Dragon. It would have been another plus, but whatever. Nub's gonna nub. Another nineteen twenty three. Heavy, let's see what happens, man. Like, that's a decent heavy. This could go, honestly, this could go. I don't know. I really don't see Calvin coming back. That's a that's a big blow. Like, you guys are uh, underestimating. Uh, that's four, man. Like, that's big. You got knock it. You got to book that and then knock it. This is, uh, looks like it's the end for Calvin. Uh, the beginning of the end. Maybe we see a comeback here. You got the Rota. He's going to take care of Breaker with the uh, thing. With two cards. Needy and Exiled. But I haven't seen him play Exiled. I have not seen him play Exiled. But 
It was DD. Okay, okay, the Thunder Dragon. See, Thunder Dragon puts in work with cards like that. Thunder Dragon puts in work, you play Wind Blast. It really does. That's another 19. All right, all right. One more of those, and then uh, it's it's game. He's going to try and end it right there. What happens? Okay, another Wind Blast. That's three. Three Wind Blasts. Three. <laughs> three Wind Blasts. All right, all right, bro. Three Wind Blasts. He books, so he, yeah, he books, so you can judgment the summon. Uh,. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, what am I thinking? He books so he could be at 16 and not 19. And then he solemns the call. Now it's down to one play. 150. Does he have a chance? 150. He's not giving up. Calvin's not giving up, bro. You don't give up. You don't give up out here. You don't give up. Just take care of the warrior lady and his game, though. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Yikes. There's minus five. Calvin's not giving up. Oh, that's bad. Let's see what what's he gonna draw now? What's he gonna draw? What's he gonna draw? Saku. Okay, that's not over. That's not over. That's not over. He live. He lives to fight another. Uh, he does not live to fight another day. The heavy storm. That's the end of the game, boys. Two one now. Two one now. What's gonna happen? Two one. Two one. Oh yikes. Two one. Oh, man. Who you guys got, man? Who you guys got? 2-1 now. Nesty making the comeback. Nesty making the comeback. Now, Calvin going first. This is the first. I think this is the first game Calvin went first. But I uh, decided in dust shoots. I think he mains dust shoot. I would not main dust shoot. But if I'm going first, I'm, I'm siding three. I don't care. Dust shoot's too powerful a card. Knowing what cards your opponent has. Just in such a technical game, knowing when to activate which card is gigantic. And then getting rid of the problem monster is always a bonus. Let's see what happens here. Got the dust. All right, all right. Another dust shoot. He knows his hand. Uh, we don't know the hand. We don't know the hand because uh, it doesn't show. Oh, delinquent. Yikes. Mop. Oh, boy. Oh, zero cards. Ah, what a. Oh, nasty. That was dirty. Nasty. That was nasty. You feel me? It's already up. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five, five to two after the draw, man. Oh, Calvin, you come back from this, you come back from this, and you're the real goat, bro. But you can't. It's uh, it's you. It's impossible. It's five to two now. The Linguin? Okay, let's go. It's not over. It's not over. Set that MST. Set that MST. Don't activate it like Nesty did the other game. Just set that. Set that. Three hundred. It's not over. You you can't give up, man. Especially in goat. Never go up and go, ever. You'll be surprised how much work a few cards put in. Even 1,000 eyes. Sometimes your opponent doesn't draw out the 1,000 eyes. I see no five cards each. You can play Morphing Jar. I haven't seen him play that. I haven't even seen Calvin play Metamorphosis, to be honest. But uh, you can play Morphing Jar, Cyber Jar. Any of these cards just automatically uh, change the tide. A BLS can change the tide. So many of these cards literally just change the tide of the whole game. MST that because he drew that. Yay. Yeah, MST the Mirror Force because he drew the Mystic Swordsman. I would activate MST end phase, but he didn't know what he had in hand, so there's no point to activate MST. Then he's going to Swordman, hit that. He's back in the game. If this resolves, he's back in the game. If this resolves, Calvin is somehow back in the game. Let's see. All right, yeah. Boom. Bye. Bye, Merchant. He's back in the game. What's going to happen now? BLS? Chaos Sword? Boom. Banish that. Attack for three. He's not banishing. Have you heard of a card called Sakuretsu Armor? He's not banishing. What are you doing? No, no, it's probably he's banishing. Why did you banish that, bro? Get Saku, get wrecked, bro. What kind of play was that? Now Calvin's back in the game. Look at that. Calvin's back in the game now. Bro. What a oh my god, that was dirty. Bro, just for a little damage? Come on, bro. You can't do that. Not for the little damage. Damage means nothing. But whatever. I hope Nasty uh, Nasty learned his lesson. But another 900 to the face. It's 4-3. Nasty's still up one card. Asuk. Oh, yikes. That's bye. That card's gone. All right. All right. Pretty tight game, but it's 4-3 after the draw. Tribe. Okay, Tribe's going to get wrecked by the Asuk, but... Keep it, keep it going. 
Do you saw him this? I think you're gonna saw him. Yeah, saw him. Not, I honestly, I, I don't know. If we know anything. I'd saw him it. Whatever. I'd saw him that. I'd honestly saw him that. We don't know what's, what else is in his hand. Yeah, he did. Uh, actually, I let it go. I don't know. I might saw him. I'd saw him it. I'd saw him it. I would. Yes, I would want to. I would saw him. I would take the risk at this point. A uh, few cards you don't know if they could out like a tribe you don't know. A D like okay, all right, we good, we good. Oh okay, okay. All right, all right. I see. That's a good one, boss. This is it's a long game still. It's Nesty is up five to two, but don't forget. Oh the preemie. What's he gonna bring out? Okay. Okay. Do you? Yeah. Bye. Bye, Sork. Bye. Summon that. Knock. Boom. Boom. Down to six. Let's go, baby. Down to six. Is Kabu going to win? Boom. Thunder Dragon. Knock on the Serpent. Nice job setting the Serpent. Okay. Let's see what happens here, boys. Five to one. But 600 life points to 2,900. It's 2-1 right now. Kabu came back from this game. Nesty had it, but it's 5-1. Nesty could come back big time. Go 2-2. What happens? What happens here? What happened? He's got out. Oh, what a smashing. Oh, my God. That smashing was gigantic. Oh, boy. That was huge. Oh. Oh, that was a monster in attack. That was over. That's unfortunate. I'm. Ah, that's unfortunate. So what's he going to do now? What's he going to do now? Nasty, bro. Don't tribute summon Thunder Dragon. He's not. What are you doing? Actually, maybe I do the same. Now that I think about it, if you couldn't summon anything else to get in like eleven damage or soup, yeah, I would have done the same. Now that I think about it, but I hope you have a trap. Uh, if this isn't a sack or a book, rip, bro, or MST dust. Oh, he has to. This oh this is crazy bro it's coming right down to the wire oh, this is game four game five I don't even know but whatever it's coming down to the wire bro what's gonna happen man oh this is crazy I snatch it I don't care I snatch it you gotta take a risk here you take you gotta take risk in life you snatch it hope he has nothing and attack for game if it's an MST then it's an MST if it's if you have Saku instead you summon the Sangan and attack for game so let's see what happens. I'm snatch stealing right now. What happened? Book. Oh. Book. Ah. Yikes. That was huge. That was so big. I right, set the same again. What's. Oh, man. Who are you going to attack with? Okay. It's not, it's not game. It's not game. Is there anything you can use to out this board right now that you can search for saying again? I don't know. But. The Donzalug. Uh, that's unfortunate. Can't get rid of anything. Yeah, set that. Hope you attacks with Sangan. Yeah, that's game. That's that's game. That's game five. All right, all right. Yo, fantastic. Nasty. Good job, bro. Good job. You misplayed a bit, but you're right back in it. It don't matter. Don't matter if you win by... Don't matter if you win by a uh, inch or a mile. Or whatever Vin Diesel said, all right? Because it's not over. This is not over. You came back. Don't, don't matter how you win as long as you win. So I'm gunning for you, bro. Let's see. Nesty vs. Calvin, game five, four hundred dollars on the line. Who you got? Who you got? All right, that was hot. That was hot. Okay. Set four. Like you know, what? I'm still setting. Four. I don't care. This solemn set. I don't care. As long as it's a solemn set, I'm setting five. I don't care what I said. All right, book that. That means that this is an important card. He needs it. What's it in his grave? Oh, knock rip. Oh man. That was a huge knock. Calvin has a lot of cards for for like for uh, flip monsters, man. My whole deck is a flip monster. He would destroy my deck. It's, it's a whole flip monster deck. I have literally eleven flip monsters in my deck. It's a flip flop deck. Damn, I gotta get some anti flip cards, bro. Like some book of Taiyu, whatever that card is, whatever, man. But anyways, he sets a whole bunch. That's I love this. I, no, look at this. Nessie's looking at three set cards. Five set cards. He knows one of them. What's he gonna do? Like he doesn't know what to attack. One of them solemn. He could go, do some serious damage right now. I'm flipping all of them and attacking. You have solemn. 
No fear of torrential or mirror force. You have solemn. It don't matter. Use the graceful. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Takes the card. You actually uh, takes one free card you want out of the choice of three. I'm keeping tribe. Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of dust. You just go for game right now, bro. You guys, you guys got to keep in mind. Yeah, there's cards like heavy. There's cards like mirror force. There's cards like torrential. You also got to keep in mind there's a solemn judgment set. Solemn book and seven tools. Seven tools and solemn. Bro, you're going all out here, bro. Summon everything and attack and just attack. You have seven tools and solemn. You can't lose this. I'm putting everything in attack and just attacking. It's this game's over. It's over in two turns. Put everything in attack and just take care of business. Boom. Boom. Just attack that. Attack that. What's he gonna do? Sakuretsu, report no problem. Like Sakura, book of moves, no problem. But if it or ring, no problem. But if it's torrential or mirror force, you just negate that. Book. Soft. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let that go. Boom. 37. Set that call. What's next? You're gonna set you need something big here, bro. It's over. It's over. Unless an actual game changing play right now. Which drew seven like look at that. Seven tools. Book. Solemn. Saku. Call. It's over, man. I'm saving the solemn for a heavy. I'm not activating solemn no matter what. Unless it's absolutely necessary. That seven tool is gonna put in some work for the mirror forces and the torrentials. Bro, flip that attack for game. It's over. You got Solomon and seven tool. I would have flipped that, bro. I would have. I would, you already went through battle phase. I don't know why I would have flipped it. You have Solomon and seven tools, but and there's only two cards you're scared of right now. Mirror Board Torrential and this game. It's hundred percent game. You got call two. This is over. This has to be over. Wind blast. I might even allow that. Do you have game with so nine hundred? If he does that, it's eighteen. Yeah, I'm allowing that. He's gonna uh, wind blast uh, tribe. He's gonna call the hunter Didi warrior lady, and that's uh, fifteen. Double D warrior lady, fifteen, eighteen. That's thirty. That's still game. Allow that for sure. Yeah, no problem, bro. Put that. Boom. Yeah, attack for eighteen. He'll be at one thousand. He attempts to wind blast. Use seven tools. It's over. Yeah, seven tools. Bring Solemn Judgment that and call the Haunted. It's over. Good game. It's done. $400 for Calvin. MSC? Nice try. Solemn. It's over. Calvin, nicely done, bro. You just won $400. I'm proud of you, bro. But you're lucky you faced Nesty. Nesty, bro. That was good. You came back. I respect you. You didn't give up. You came back from a 2 deficit. You lost 3-2. That was fantastic. I hope you guys like this commentary. There's going to be a lot better commentary and quality. I'm getting a whole new system. Uh, I'm actually paying for it, unlike this free system I'm using right now. But I know you guys are going to like it. It's uh, almost done downloading. has the noise on my laptop. You guys hear that. But make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to check the description below. Make sure to follow Luxury Gaming on Facebook. They release Dueling Book Tournaments for cash prizing. It is awesome. Uh, I'm going to join one right now, honestly. Let's join one right now before the video is done. Let's check this out. Let's join one right now. One sec. What is this? All right. What tourneys do they have for the pen god? For MSI gaming laptop go format, would you like to play with Xerion? Yes, it sucks. Who cares? Did I already comment that? Xerion sucks. Who cares? Let's go. Xerion literally sucks. I don't care about no Xerion. Eight man gold tournament. 3v3 Iron Man. All right, all right. I, I want to comment to all these. Look at this. What state is the best when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh? State tournament to find out who represents. Possible 5 versus 5 Iron Man to find out winning state. Canada included? It's over. Toronto versus USA. Forget states. Forget states. We'll do 5 versus 30 Iron Man. Toronto versus the world. Because you already know we got the best players. USA is one sec. Toronto Master Race. It's not even a race, but who cares? Eight man Alti Kagari attorney. Bro, I'm trying to enter attorney. Mad attorney? Mad attorney. Say no more. I'm in that one. Four man gold tourney. Four man gold tourney. One more. Four man gold tourney. What you need? One more. Sign me up. One sec. 
Yeah, I'm going to just tell him. One more spot, I'm in. Move aside, boys. Greatness has. I'm in. Move aside, boys. Greatness has. Hmm, what has greatness have? Greatness has come. Boom. We're in. We just entered a gold tourney. We're about to win 55 bucks for free. Well, 40 bucks because it's a $15 entry. But I hope you guys like the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to follow Luxury Gaming on Facebook. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.